Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Hello. Hello. Hello and how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Hi everybody, it's Miss Cindy. Time for music. Okay, I'm putting my guitar down, and we're going to do a little bit of moving. Let's start with some hand clapping. Hey, everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, can you clap them with me? Hey, everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, clap them with me. Now I can tap and you can tap, we can tap together. Hey, everybody, can you tap your knees? Tap your knees, can you tap them with me? Hey everybody, can you tap your knees? Tap your knees, tap them with me. Now I can shrug and you can shrug, we can shrug together. Hey everybody, can you shrug your shoulders? Shrug your shoulders, can you shrug them with me? Hey everybody, can you shrug your shoulders? Shrug your shoulders, shrug them with me. And I can rock and you can rock, we can rock together. Hey everybody, can you rock your body? Rock your body, can you rock it with me? Hey everybody, can you rock your body? Rock your body, rock it with me. And I can clap and you can clap and we can clap together. Hey everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, can you clap them with me? Hey everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, clap them with me. Thanks a lot. Let's pick up something to do a little bit of shaking. We're gonna sing songs about farm animals and farms in general and see where we go with it, okay? So we're gonna start with a warm up with our shakers. Shake, 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 shake. Oh yeah, shake, 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 shake. Oh yeah, shaking those shakers with me. Oh yeah, we're gonna move. Oh yeah, we're gonna groove. Oh yeah, shaking, shaking, shaking today. Can you shake them up high up in the sky? And then we'll shake them low. Can you click them together? Click, click, click. Then around and around they go. Sh -sh 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 shake, oh yeah. Sh -sh 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 shake, oh yeah. Shaking those shakers with me. Oh yeah, we're gonna move. Oh yeah, we're gonna groove. Oh yeah. Shaking, shaking, shaking today. One arm up, one down, and twist the other way. Can you do it like this? Shake them behind your back, my friend, and way up front today. Shake, 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 shake. Oh yeah, shake, 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 shake. Oh yeah. Shaking those shakers with me. Oh yeah, we're gonna move. Oh yeah, we're gonna groove. Oh yeah. Shaking, shaking, shaking today. All right, so our next song is about a frog. There are lots of frogs living on farms. There might even be a frog in your yard. I sometimes see one when I walk my dog. So we're gonna sing about a frog whose name was Tiny Tim. I have a little frog. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he gobbled up the soap, and when he tried to talk, he had a bubble in his throat. Now, I'm going to put my shakers down and pick up my frog. 
and sing this same song with him. You can still shake your shakers along with me. I have a little frog. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He gobbled up the soap. And when he tried to talk, he had a bubble in his throat. All right, let's do another song about a frog. This one is a cha-cha-cha. So you shake along with the cha-cha-cha. I'm going to have my frog do his ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. There was a frog, cha-cha-cha. He liked to hop, Everywhere, he couldn't stop. There was a frog, he liked to hop. Everywhere, he could not stop. There was a frog. He liked to swim. He swam fast. It kept him slim. There was a frog. He liked to swim. He swam fast and it kept him slim. There was a frog looking for a treat, watching for flies that he could eat. There was a frog. He was looking for a treat, watching for flies that he could eat. Mmm, I don't know if that would be too tasty for me. <laughs> All right, the next song we're going to do is Frog Went a Courtin'. Frog went a courtin' and he did ride a hmm, a hmm. Frog went a courtin' and he did ride a hmm, a hmm. Frog went a courtin' and he did ride, wore his jacket on the satin side a hmm, a hmm, a hmm. A hmm. He rode down to Miss Mousy's den, ah hmm, ah hmm. Rode down to Miss Mousy's den, ah hmm, ah hmm. Rode down to Miss Mousy's den, said Miss Mousy, would you let me in, ah hmm, ah hmm, ah hmm. Oh Miss Mousy, would you marry me, ah hmm, ah hmm. Oh Miss Mousy, would you marry me, ah hmm, ah hmm. Oh Miss Mousy, would you marry me, way down yonder under the old oak tree, ah hmm. Um, um, yes, Mr. Froggy, I'll marry you. Um, um, yes, Mr. Froggy, I'll marry you. Um, um, yes, Mr. Froggy, I'll marry you. We'll grow old together because I love you. Um, 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 very good. Putting my frog down right over here. Let's hope he doesn't go hopping away on me. And I'm going to pick up my lollipop drum. So if you have something to tap or you're going to do some more shaking, that would be fine too. We're going to start with the song Old MacDonald. But instead of saying he had a farm, we're going to say he had a band. And I'm going to name some different instruments and I'm going to try and use my drum to play like those instruments. Hmm, could get a little crazy here. Oh, McDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O, and in that band he had a drum, E-I-E-I-O, with a tap, tap here, tap, tap there, tap, tap everywhere. Oh, McDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O, and in that band he had some shakers, E-I-E-I-O, with a shake, shake, cheer, shake, shake there, shake everywhere. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in that band he had a violin, E-I-E-I-O. With a here, here, and a here, here, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in that band he had a guitar, E-I-E-I-O. With a strum drum here and strum drum there, strumming, strumming everywhere. And a here and a here, here, everywhere. And shake, shake here and shake, shake there, shaking, shaking everywhere. And tap, tap here and a tap, tap there, tapping, tapping everywhere. Old MacDonald had a band. E -I -E -I -O. Oh, those farmers, they like to have fun. Lots of fun with music. Now we're going to sing a song about a cow. Hmm. Lots of cows on a farm. And some people think they are rather cute. 
And some people even think about kissing a cow. Would you do that? I don't know if I would, but we're gonna sing a song called Kiss a Cow. Kiss a cow, 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 kiss a cow. Well, you can climb an oak tree and try to kiss a monkey, but monkeys are too quick and you might kiss miss. You could even maybe try to kiss a turkey, but turkeys could get scared and you could miss. But why don't we just kiss a cow? They're not going anywhere. Kiss a cow. 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 Take cover so they can't see and try to kiss a donkey, but come too close behind and he might kick. If you care to try a killer, kiss a caterpillar, but keep your cool cause it could make you sick. Yuck. So why not just kiss a cow, 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 kiss a cow. pretty silly. I think if I walked past a farm and saw the farmer kissing his cow, I would know what to think. Hmm. The next song we're going to do is about some other animals on the farm. And this one has a little bit of a chorus to go with it, where we play and sing. Hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum. Dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee ba ba black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for your sweater, one for your rug, one for that blanket to keep you nice and snug. I said, hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum. Hum dum dee dum dee dum dee cluck cluck red hen have you any eggs? Yes sir, yes sir, as many as your legs. Have one for breakfast, have one for lunch. Come back tomorrow for another bunch. I said hum dee dum hum hum dee dum dee dum dee hum dee dum hum hum dee dum dee dum dee moo moo brown cow have you milk for me? Yes, sir, yes, sir, tasty as can be. Churn it into butter, freeze it into cream, make it into ice cream. Save some for me, I said, hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee buzz, buzz, busy bee, is your honey sweet? Yes, sir, yes, sir, enough to eat. Put it on your muffin. Put it on your cake, honey by the spoonful, as much as I can make. I said, hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee dum. Well, that was a little bit different. Okay, let's do another song. This one is about animals on the farm and animal sounds. How could we do a theme about farms without using our voices and making the sounds of animals? I'm gonna play my guitar for this. However, you play along with whatever you got. And we're gonna sing a song called, I Had a Rooster. I had a rooster and the rooster pleased me. I fed my rooster under yonder tree, and that little rooster sang cockle doo 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 dee doo doo dee doo doo dee doo doo dee doo. I hope you are singing with me. Now let's do that cow. I found a cow under yonder tree, and that 
little cow, he pleased me. And that little cow said, moo, moo, moo. And that little rooster sang, You kind of figured it out. Every time we add an animal, we have to make the sounds of all the ones we already did. Ah, I hope we remember. Let's go to the pig. I met a pig under yonder tree. And that little pig, he pleased me. And that little pig said, oink, oink, oink. And that little cow went, moo, moo. And that little rooster sang, cockle doo 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 dee doo. We did a rooster, we did a cow, we did a pig. <gasps> Let's do a horse. I met a horse under yonder tree. And that little horse, he pleased me. And that little horse sang, nay, nay. And that little pig sang, boink, boink, boink. And that little cow went, moo, moo. And that little rooster sang, cock doo 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 Rooster, cow, pig, horse. How about a chicken? I met a chicken under yonder tree. And that little chicken, she pleased me. And that little chicken went bark, bark, bark. And that little horse went nay, nay. And that little pig went oink, oink, oink. And that little cow went moo. All right, do you think we can add another one? I think we can. Every farmer has a dog, don't you think? It's probably named Bingo. I met a dog under yonder tree, and that little dog, he pleased me, and that little dog went woof, woof, woof. And that little whole, oh, chicken, went bark. And that little horse went yay, yay. And that little pig went oink, oink, oink. And that little cow went moo, moo. And that little rooster sang cockle doo 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 dee doo doo dee doo doo dee doo doo dee doo. Okay, I'm gonna try and add one more. Forgive me if I forget some, okay? I met a cat under yonder tree. Little cat, she pleased me, and that little cat went meow, 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 and that little dog went woof, 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 and that little chicken went buck, 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 or buck, 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 and that little horse went nay, nay, and that little pig went oink, 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 and that little cow went. That was a close one. I wasn't sure if I was going to remember them all. And there's so many more we could have done. Oh, animal sounds all day. Okay, let's do another song. This one is called Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit. Now, there might be some farmers who really don't want those rabbits on their farms because rabbits tend to eat what the farmer is trying to grow. But this is a song that we're going to sing anyway. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, your coat is mighty gray. Your tail is mighty white. Better to see in the dark of the night. Every little soul must shine. Every little soul must shine. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit. Your ears are mighty fluffy. Aaron's 
acres, Aaron's acres. Your shirts are really bright. Yes, my friend, we've got a special light. Every little soul must shine. 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 All right, my friends, it's time for our last song. See you later, alligator. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week. See you again soon. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Greystone Manor Therapeutic Riding. It's Michelle here, and today we are going to learn about horses and people in motion. And we're going to learn about the horse's movements. So the horse has three different gates. The walk, which is a four-beat gait. One, two, three, four. The trot, a two-beat gait. One, two, one, two, one, two. And the canner, a three-beat gait. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to learn about those today and get to see some of our horse and, and human friends show us the way. Let's go see what they're up to. All right, everybody, we're going to take a quick walk over. We're gonna go visit with Linda today. She is going to help me talk you guys through with what's going on with our friends in our indoor arena since it's a little bit rainy outside today. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Aaron Safers. How's everybody today? Happy that you guys are back at the barn. My good friend Melanie, who's one of our volunteers here, is working with our pony, Lacey. You met Lacey when we had her take a bath on the first week that we met with you. Now, you might notice that Melanie is not riding Lacey or walking beside Lacey, but she's working her on what we call a lunge line. It's green and it's like a dog leash, just very, very long. Melanie can stand in the middle of a large circle and with her hand signals and the way she places her body, she can encourage Lacey to get some exercise without a rider on her back, something we do with our horses. You might also notice that Melanie has a long stick in her right hand. We won't be touching Lacey with this stick. It acts as an extension of Melanie's right arm to help give some energy to Lacey to get her going. Let's take a minute and watch how Melanie helps Lacey get some exercise on a lunge line. Hey, how about we listen to some music while Lacey gets some exercise?
right to this cowboy sound. Raise one arm up high, your lasso in the sky. Ride your horse, take a chance. Let's all do the cowboy dance. Yippee I yo, yippee I yay, yippee I yo, yippee I yay. Hey, you'll see that Lacey is just walking. As Michelle explained, walking for a horse is a four beat gait. The reason it's four beats for them is because they have four legs. Can you count Lacey's legs? Can you watch her legs and notice how each hoof touches the ground at a different time? This makes walking a horse work really well with music. Lots of music has a four beat gait. All right, hey, Melanie, what would you think if we got Lacey to trot? Trotting is a two beat gait. Just 15 minutes a day is proven to You guys can see that she's got a two beat gait, kind of like what Michelle told you, where her feet. Two feet at one time hit the ground together. Her feet go one, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, Lindsay, how about some music for chatting? That sounds super fun. I think that's a great idea. Here we go. going there. There she's back to a trot. Bless you, Lacey. Bless you. Sometimes horses will breathe and it sounds like a sneeze to us. Do you hear, Lacey? Kind of a snort. Like when you go out and get some exercise and you get a little winded and you have to breathe heavy, Lacey is getting her exercise just like Melanie asked her to. You may also notice that when Melanie works Lacey, she'll change her direction. She doesn't always go to the right. She doesn't always go to the left. And Melanie has a way of moving her body and giving energy to Lacey to help her know when she should change direction. Did you see Melanie bend her knees to cue Lacey to trot? Let's watch a little more trot. And tell me if you see that Lacey is trotting slow or fast. That's pretty fast. No, you can make her go slow. That's pretty slow. Can you make her go faster at the truck? Yeah. Oh, little canter. So silly. Okay, wonderful. Melanie, let's give her a little break at the walk. And then, now that you guys have learned about a four beat walk, a two beat trot, we're going to show you the three-beat canner. It's a lot of fun. 
it's fun to ride too because it feels like a rocking motion when you're on top of the horse. We think Lacey likes this song. There's a canter. Even Melanie's galloping like a horse. Look at her go. Now, can you change your direction? wonderful demonstration for Aaron Dakers who showed us a horse the walk trot and canter hey you've seen a horse in a lunge line and maybe if you watched Melanie you could practice after we visit doing the walk the trot and the canter with your own feet something kind of like a horse and see what that might feel like or maybe you can ask your mom or your dad or one of your brothers or sisters to show you. We have a couple of riders on their horses today. Let me introduce you to Christina on Makita. And to Dorothy on Neptune. Hi everybody, howdy. Hi guys. Hi to Neptune. Hi Neptune. Want to say hi to Aaron Daker? <laughs> hi Dorothy. Hi everybody. Hi Lindsay. Hi Christina. Hi everyone. How are you? Hi Makita. You want to say hi? All right, looks like they're ready to go. Ready? Should we go for a little ride in here? Yes, please. All right, let's do some walking. Let's walk. So, as you guys remember from little Lacey, the walk is a four beat gate. You probably met, remember Christina, because you met her on Big Sam last time we met. Today she's on Little Makita, so much smaller. And I think you met Makita in our first video when we talked about horses being tall or small. The Makita is a pony, she is small. If you look at Makita's feet, you will see that each foot touches the ground at a different time. And that's the four beat walk. I see you braided her hair. It looks really cute. <laughs> it keeps it out of her eye. Yep, it's the flies are out and it's hot today. So she has her mate, her forelock braided. And Neptune too is walking with the four beat gait. Looks like they're going to change directions just like little Lacey did on her lunge line. Ladies, could we see your horse's trot? Yeah, that would be fun. We'd like to see the two beat trot with your horses. There they go. Horsey, horsey, 
like the song says, let's see a canter. Can we ask Neptune to canter? It's a beautiful three beat canter by Neptune. Dorothy sits up tall and you see that she looks like she's sort of rocking on Neptune's back. See when she's trotting, she goes up and down in a posting motion. Hey, Christina, can you show us how you go up and down at the trot to make it smoother for you? Sure. All right, let's see Makita trot. And you show us the posting. Watch Miss how Christina goes up and down with her seat. The horse's be trot is kind of bouncy. It's okay to sit it. Maybe Christina, you could sit a few beats. And you see how she has to kind of stick to the saddle and bounce along. Here comes Dorothy posting on Neptune. Dorothy, how does posting feel? Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Like riding a carousel. Like riding a carousel, she said. That's so great. Let's come back to a walk, Dorothy. And you'll see that the walk is super, super comfortable. What do you think, Christina? How does Makita's walk feel? Uh, slow and soft and comfortable. Slow, soft. Comfortable. Dorothy, how does Neptune's walk feel? Nice and Do you move side to side or front to back? She, side to side in the walk. she feels side to side. How about you, Christina? Front to back and side to side. More front to back, but a little side to side. Those are good thoughts. When you sit on a horse, it's different than a chair or a swing because their movement shifts your hips up and down, side to side, and front to back, all at the same time. It's kind of like sitting on a rolling ball, but it's really, really comfortable. All right, did you guys have something special you wanted to show us? Yeah. All right, we're Christina and Dorothy wanted to show you a pattern they've been working on with their horses. Sometimes we do this for practice and for fun. It looks like Neptune's happier with the pattern than like he does. She's lazy today because it's hot. <laughs> do you guys ever feel lazy? I know sometimes I do. It's been very hot outside this week. And some days I feel lazy too. That's okay. Maybe you guys can just come together at the walk and our Aaron Dakers campers would probably like to see a close-up of your horse's faces again. Could you stop or halt together? Good job, you guys. Kita, what did you think about seeing Aaron's Acres today? <laughs>
<laughs> She's happy to see you guys again, I think. What about you, Neptune? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, perfect. All right. Very nice job, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today, Aaron Baker. And thank you to our, our equine and human friends. They did a great job showing us the walk, the trot, and the canter. And I hope you go home and practice it too. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye to 